the sophomore from Brooklyn, back earlier than expected from a knee injury, had 24 points, 16 rebounds in that win over Syracuse on the weekend, and we are underway. And we asked him, hey, that win over Syracuse, I mean, they scored 64 points in the second half. They won. It felt like they got every 50-50 ball as Champagny knocks down a three. Has a coach ever been that happy with a team before in the history of basketball? No, but it's hard to find <laughs> problems with that type of performance. And I go back to two or three plays. There were about three highlight plays from Justin Champagny. You're going to see one right there. Trying to put your guys in position to be able to communicate, see the basketball, and develop some sense of confidence on the floor. And they come up with a steal here. It'll be Roach. Might have gotten away with a travel, but he'll knock it down. Your team's probably more impacted by the, you know, the craziness of this year than the veteran teams. Duke now getting after it a little bit more defensively, and it'll be Roach with the reverse. Three-pointer a little bit strong for Ithiel Horton, who's a very good shooter, a transfer from Delaware. Stewart, nice feed to Johnson, all alone right down the lane. Make drives, find the open man. That's when they're going to start to develop and really develop a feel for this game at this level. Champagny, his second three of the game already. If you heard, who's a terrific three-point shooter, misses that one. 44% on the season. Xavier Johnson somehow Ooh. completed the play and give him an assist on the bucket by Champagny. Creates a lot for himself without the ball in his hands. They thought he would be out six to eight weeks with a knee injury. He was back in four as Stewart knocks down a three for Duke. Jeff Capel also coaching at VCU in Oklahoma. Johnson with a long two, and it's good to bring the Blue Devils back within a deuce. We'll do some work on the inside. That's where you're at your best. Johnson back to Moore for a good look from the corner. And Duke takes the lead after being down eight to nothing. Demi Odakali, a freshman from Brooklyn, into the game now for Pitt. And the three ball will go down to put the Panthers back on top. Now telling yeah. them just enough for them to do what they have to do. You don't want to overload a very young team in this kind of a season with too much information. On East, Tony, what a play and a chance for three. Can you create space? Can you open up driving lanes with Matthew Hurt on the bench? Because he's a good spacer with his ability to shoot. Roach steps in and knocks down an uncontested jumper to get it back within three. To do so because a lot of them, they're simple effort plays. They, they create for themselves with their effort and their toughness. What a great feed from Patrick Tape. And there's where Champagne can really do some damage, sneaking around on the baseline. And that's where they just have to close up those driving lanes, at least show and deter the drive. The whole thing works for them. Then you add the scoring from the guards. They're terrific. Gonzaga almost invites you every single game to play the way they want you to play and go ahead and be better than them. It would be in April. It wouldn't even be in March if, if they yeah. were to meet. D.J. Stewart, the freshman from Chicago with a three to tie it. And then guess who is in the right place again? Justin Champagny. I think in terms of games played and how we value that, in terms of the development of the team, how far along they are, Champagne hits another one. Wow. Forget how fast things move on the floor. And that's why it's hard for young freshmen to, to figure out. It's hard to figure out how to slow the game down and make good decisions. How about Jeremy Roach with a nice running layup into the paint to tie the game at 28? Wouldn't have expected to see zone, but it, it's not bad. There are just certain things that if you don't play zone a lot, it, there are going to be some challenges. Hurt for three. His first field goal of the night, and Duke takes the lead. Xavier Johnson with wow. the immediate answer for Pitt. Keep an eye on 11 in white. Again, back early from a knee injury last week against Syracuse. Having a huge night tonight as Terrell Brown, the senior from Providence, extends the lead for Pitt. Ball kicked back out. Baker can't get the three off. And then an errant pass. And it'll be another run out. And a bucket for Ithiel Horton, the transfer from Delaware. Champagny for three. What a half. 17 points now for Justin Champagne. Playing at a high level, moving it to where, where they want and attacking in transition. Just got to clean that up. 
Boy, great defensive transition there by Jalen Johnson. He sets up Wendell Moore, and he picks up a three, a much-needed bucket. To continue to space the floor, good second-chance opportunity, but Pitt came away with it. Good look for Xavier Johnson. He can't knock it down. Koulibaly working hard, and it's going to count. Jumper won't go down for Wendell Moore. Moore had a 25-point game for Duke against BC a couple of weeks ago in a game they won by one, so they needed all of that and more. Wendell Moore Jr., who's late getting into the play, something looked like may have been wrong with his shoe. He fixed that, and now he's back in there in the front court. Johnson got it back, lays it in. Great work by Jalen Johnson. 12-point lead, Panthers. Horton can't get the shot off. Tony can, and he buries it on East Tony, the junior. Defense, kind of doing the Peyton Manning. He's going to throw to the open spot and hope someone's there. Koulibaly from the elbow knocks it down. How about Koulibaly here in the second half with five quick ones? Johnson tried to thread the needle, couldn't do it. Jalen Johnson behind the back, four on one, and Moore with another bucket. We scramble. are one Tony rebound away from two different Panthers already having a double-double in this game. And Champagny just beat everybody down the floor. Horton misses the three. Jalen Johnson getting a lot of minutes. Second game back off the foot injury and looking good, isn't he? And he's closing in on a double-double. We could have three players with double-doubles in this game. We already got one of them. Champagny took care of that in the first half. Now a rejection. Johnson blocking Koulibaly. Roach with a couple of crossovers. Off to Johnson for three. Got it! Trying to bring him back into this game all by himself. And Odakali gets it over for Pitt. But Duke has definitely stepped up the intensity at the defensive end. The problem for them is Champagny can score in so many different ways. Moore for three. Yes. Eight-point lead, Pitt over Duke. In a game that Pitt has led almost the entire way. Jalen Johnson, a big second half, and it gets a little bit bigger now for the Blue Devils. Back down to six. Bring the ball much better, not allowing Pitt to pick out their passes. God, that was a lot of peas, wasn't it? <laughs> Champagne, 16-footer, and he continues to add to a huge night. Seems as if that's the case for Champagne these, these last two games. Hurt going down in the post, and he will finish. But he is down and shaken up and grabbing his left ankle. You're going to have to keep an eye on that when he comes back in. If he comes back in. Duke turns it over. Xavier Johnson, a three-year starter, back to Champagne. Jeez. His fourth three of the game. He's up to 28 points on the night. He is four for seven from beyond the arc. A game high, 28 points. And now they forget about Tony on the weak side, but what a recovery by Johnson. He must have gotten a finger on that. Johnson down with it for Duke. Hurt, spins, and converts, and it's a six-point game. To one in favor of Duke in terms of offensive rebounding. You're telling me their effort hasn't been elevated in this second half. I think we've seen, look at this. What a pass from Johnson to a wide-open Jordan Goldwire. Well, he just attracts attention. I mean, you see, all, everybody's watching the basketball. You watch the basketball, watch the basketball. A good hard cut gets you wide open, and that's kind of what you'd expect. Is that Goldwire? If I 8 o'clock Eastern, wall-to-wall -wall ACC action on the ACC Network a week from Saturday. Injection for Champagne. And then a block at the other end. Johnson got a piece of it. And here he comes, and there he goes! Do what Coach K said he wants him to do, and that is play instinctually, think less. What a great play by Stewart to come up with a steal. Boy, Johnson thought about it. Hurt will take it, and it goes, and Duke is back within two. Pitt has not made a field goal in six minutes. Until now, and who else? Champagne, who's now got 30 really move into the upper echelon of the standings at least for now in the ACC there's there's a lot riding on this one Goldwire back into the game underneath and he scores 
Champagne guarded by Hurt out on the perimeter. Johnson sidesteps a defender and lays it in. Four-point game. Hurt over Champagne. Two-point game. Now Champagne with more on him. The cut by Tony for the slam to make it a four-point game. Baker misses the three, and that is going to do it.